It's Nano Week 2 and I'm still behind. Hi guys, so it's week two of Nano and I am about a quarter of the way to my target. Now it's not as bad as it sounds. I am still writing every day, even if it's only a couple of hundred words a day and there has been some stuff going on in my personal life which has meant that it's been hard to focus and concentrate on writing. Um, I am really happy with the fact I am writing every day and that even if it, like I say, only if it's a couple of hundred words, that's a couple of hundred words I didn't have the day before. Also, you know, hundred words a day, you know, ten days, thousand words. You know, it's, it's a process of building up and I've been sort of considering where my future goes. How do I make a living from writing? How do I fund making a full-time job? If you follow me on my Facebook, then you know that I've been looking into Patreon as an option. Um, if I decide to go down that route, it won't be till the new year. I am just sort of playing with it at the minute and playing with the idea of tears and what's possible. Um, but what I am thinking is that if I can get to a point where I know I can write a certain amount of words every day, then I can base my output on that. And the more I write, the quicker I'll start typing again, because as I said, my typing right now is really, really slow. And I'm just going to alter my position there. Um, yeah, it's really, really slow at the minute, so that slows me down. And also I need to start focusing better on sitting down and doing it. So, sitting down to write a blog post specifically, or sitting down to write so-and-so words on one project, or sitting down to edit so many words. Um, I need to have designated times when I'm going to work when I literally turn my phones off and just focus on that task at hand and I am getting there I for a long time I sort of was flapping and I wasn't really sure not if I wanted this because I do I knew I always knew I did but I wasn't sure how I could make it work I wasn't sure how I could make the transition from somebody that writes and self-publishes as a hobby to the idea of making a living from it and that's where the patreon comes in as well to an extent because I'm looking at things not for now necessarily but for further down the line that I then know I have a regular income coming in because I have a child I can't I want to be able to give up a day job and focus on writing but I need to know that I'm going to have a guaranteed income to do that. And there are some things going on with Amazon right now which are meaning that people aren't feeling that they're confident that they've got a guaranteed income because Amazon is changing the rules and taking income away from people. So it is a really hard process. But hopefully I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm seeing small tiny lights at the end of a tunnel. And it's still a while away, and it's still a lot of hard work away. But, for the first time in a long time, I feel like I can make this happen. Right, so I'm going to get off now, and I'll speak to you all later. <laughs>